Good morning from Expert Credit Sweeps. So, I get so many calls where people are telling me that you guys are disputing online, and I'm going to tell you why you should not dispute online. So listen to me, don't dispute online. I'm going to tell you why right now. Okay, so why shouldn't you file a dispute online? There are two very, very simple reasons. Number one, there's no paper trail, guys. Okay, so literally, how can you prove the date that you disputed, what it, what you said, when it was received, all that kind of stuff, okay? You can't, okay? So credit reporting agencies are obligated by law to remove any information that cannot be verified within 30 days. So if you don't have the proof of the date when you sent the dispute and what you said and all that kind of great stuff, how are you going to prove this? And the issue is not going to be deleted, okay? So with online disputes, there's no paper trail. You may not even receive an email confirmation or any other notice of dispute request, okay? Another thing is that, obviously, you may get lost in the system, okay? So, yes, they do try to follow up with online disputes, but it's the same thing as them ignoring the disputes as you send in the mail. Sometimes it just happens, all right? So you can fall through the cracks. So another thing is that, Creditors can ver uh, refuse to verify the requested information even though they're obligated to do so. So if that happens, the disputed info should be removed from your credit report. But it just doesn't happen. Okay, so number two. So this is a very short video. But number two, the information isn't handled the same way. This is the most important part. The FCRA was enacted to protect consumers from unfair credit reporting practices. And here's one of them. So it was revised to include online disputes under section 611A8. In this section, it says that the agency may disregard other paragraphs, okay, if the information is deleted within three days of the notice of dispute. So look at the bold type. The credit reporting agency doesn't have to forward the dispute and other information to the creditor. But when you actually write out your disputes, they have to forward that information, okay? So I'm going to tell you another thing. They do just use eOscar, turn it into a two-digit dispute and send it out like that. But I mean, they're quote unquote required to send this information when you do you know, your paper disputes. But anyways, that's just, uh, excuse me, besides the point. So number two is the credit reporting agency doesn't have to send you written results from the investigation of the dispute. So your information can just what go nowhere. Okay. Number three, the credit reporting agency doesn't have to show you the method of verification. That is so important. Okay, when you're saying, oh, this is unknown to me, or Section 609 states that you have to actually send me the, you know, paperwork that was filled out, and blah, 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 or, you know, I the, uh, this account is unknown, and I need to actually see, you know, my uh, contract with my, sign, my signature on it, and whatever the heck you're saying, they don't have to send you any of that, they don't have to prove anything, they don't have to show you how they're verifying it, all they have to say is, this was verified, it's accurate, the creditor says so. That's it. You cannot challenge it. You give up your rights under this. Okay, so do not dispute online. You need to know this information to remove the negative items correctly, guys. Okay, so in addition, this type of delete can be temporary. Okay, temporary. So it can be deleted and then reinserted because they don't have to send this information for the dispute to the creditor. Okay. So if you want your information to be reinserted, if you want them to not have to prove why they're saying something is accurate, and if you don't want your written results or anything else, and you actually want this stuff sitting on your credit report, then go ahead, dispute online. Okay. Do whatever you want to. I'm just giving you the information. Now, on the other hand, if you would actually like some help with your disputes and to do this the correct way and not do online disputes and get this stuff deleted and actually obtain financial freedom, give me a call, okay? Click on this link right here. I'm going to be posting the link to this ebook on the video in the description. You can just click on free consultation and we'll find out how I can assist you and how the services of Expert Credit Suites can be beneficial to you and your credit file. So click on the link get your free consultation, or if you don't want a free consultation, that's completely up to you. I just wanted to give you this information. So anyways, don't dispute online. Have a great day. Have a prosperous week, and that is it.